we can dream, hope, and believe. However, our future depends largely on how we treat our women and children. A threat to a woman or a child anywhere is a threat to the future of humanity everywhere. Family Care Association, SO, NNPC. In the year 2000, 189 countries convened at the United Nations and committed themselves to taking action in eradicating the dire outcome of poverty and deprivation in the developing world. The Millennium Development Goals were designed to create a common framework for all UN affiliates to tackle the systemic causes of the gravest deprivations in the developing world. The best way to tackle health in this country, take care of the mothers, take care of the children. When the woman is healthy, the child is healthy, then the nation is healthy. With the help of the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation and ESSO Exploration and Production, the faith-based non-governmental organization Family Care Association is committed to accelerating progress towards the NDGs numbers four and five. MDG four talking about reduction of infant mortality and MDG five talking about reduction of maternal mortality. Improving maternal health and facilities means bringing health facilities closer to those who need it, specifically in the rural areas. We hope to achieve by the year 2015 that the number of children dying from any cause at all, at least we should reduce them by two thirds for the MDG4. While for the MDG5, that the maternal mortality is expected to be reduced by three quarter of what it is in any particular country. I've been pregnant. When I deliver, the child died. With this one, as they came, they do surgery. They do the surgery. I didn't give them anything. I really thank them. What are women that will be in our society? And the children, they are our future. So we must look after them. Children are the future of each country. We need to bring down the mortality of these children. In Nigeria today, and in Sub-Saharan Africa, a lack of basic reproductive care means a woman's maternal mortality risk is 1 in 30, compared to 1 in 5,600 in developed regions. For the children who have lost their mothers, they are 10 times more likely to die prematurely than those who have not. Children born in Nigeria and other countries in Sub-Saharan Africa are plagued by the highest infant mortality rates in the world, with one in seven children dying before their fifth birthday. ESSO and NNPC have embarked on a large-scale project to renovate and equip selected hospitals and clinics throughout Nigeria. Because of the continued support of ESSO and NNPC, maternity referral centers have been revamped and new equipment has been donated to replace old, worn-out machines. I'm impressed by the quality of the innovation, the quality of equipment which have been donated, the effort which has been put into thinking 
ahead of all the problems. Let me thank you for the brief that you gave me, for the work that you are doing and the ones that you plan to do, both in Kaduna states and in other states of the country. In health situation, equipment is the answer. To bring us equipment and give us training, I think it's maximum. I'm happy that organizations like ESO and the NNPC are supporting you to be able to provide these facilities in different communities in different part of, parts of the country. ESO, NNPC, we we'll thank them very much. I want to thank them very much. The efforts of uh, NNPC and ESO is highly commendable. I thank them very much. Access to safe, consistent medical care throughout pregnancy and follow-up postnatal care are key elements in reducing the mortality rates of mothers and their children. Family Care Association is establishing community health intervention programs. And most importantly, training health workers in target locations to provide medical services to underserved communities. Some of the staff that are working in the, in the maternity here are being taught how to use it and we are using it perfectly. We also noticed that power and electric supply remains a major challenge to the programs and the facilities in which we're working. In line with this, we decided to make the program more sustainable by installing solar backup systems which can run all of the equipment and fully handle the maternity referral centers. And now we have constant electricity in this hospital. Adding to this too is the water problem. And so a borehole has been put in place and water runs 24 hours. I'm glad again it's part of your proactive thinking of taking care of problems. In this speech, the medical director talked about 4,000 gallon water tank and borehole, and this is very pleasing to my ears. We've donated a lot of modern equipment which can handle a variety of cases and problems that may occur. It's one of the best things that has happened to us in, in Plato State. We have a baby scot that were donated. The old ones have become dilapidated. I'm very highly impressed because I've gone around and seen what has been done. The whole roof has been changed. The ceiling has been changed. I've seen the toilets. <laughs> so we were sending women to go out of the hospital for scanning. We can now do the scanning even immediately in the hospitals before any other thing. Drugs, which are also costly and sometimes not easily affordable by the common person. Now these are dimensions that we appreciate very, very much. I think we are also put on the right path to take from there and maintain and ensure that we own it and that we protect it and that we make sure our people get the best benefit out of it. Uh, six months ago, I was here on a private visit. Uh, I discovered that uh, the hotel was in a shamble. This morning, I'm going around the entire world. I've seen that there's a total change. I really thank God that we are having such equipment, such modernized equipment in uh, maternity here. I can only say thank you and thank you and thank you. ESO and NAPC have decided to sponsor the innovation of the maternity centers of four general hospitals in four states you know, of the Federation. Our goal is for those in need, especially in the rural areas, to have access to medical services and care. The successful transformation of the targeted hospitals and the renovation and refurbishment of maternity referral centers in Kogi, Kaduna, Plateau and Zamfara states 
serve as concrete models of transformation. ESSO and NNPC will build on the success of these pilot projects in order to replicate similar programs throughout Nigeria. I thank God, you know, that I am here this afternoon to personally commission this renovated, re-equipped hospital. The glory of God and the benefit of all humanity. So, Ordinarily, this would have been a handing over ceremony of completed and fully equipped maternity referral centers. But the immediate health needs of the teeming poor rural majority can never be ignored. Thanks to the very dedicated team of family care volunteer medical professionals, thousands were able to benefit from the sustainable free rural medical intervention program that marked the handing over of the MRCs. We have the best of volunteers from surgeons, consultants, dental technicians, um, orthopedic surgeons, all from various fields who have volunteered their time. God will bless them. They're giving up their time and skills to treat all these people you see here. I've been with them and uh, I've noticed that uh, their commitment is very high and there is a great degree of excellence in discharging their responsibilities and duties. Working in over 25 states together with our partners, we've been able to carry out health campaigns which are very effective in combating infant mortality. In renovating and equipping the maternity referral centers and project hospitals across the country, we had to consider the health of the child throughout the pregnancy. This is why we provided state-of-the-art ultrasound machines, delivery beds, baby cots, um, just to name a few. We provide equipment that will assist, you know, um, prompt deliveries and that will also ensure assisted even deliveries of uh, pregnant mothers. The dedication of companies like ESSO and NNPC allows the work of Family Care Association to continue. Understanding and confronting the challenges gives hope to the hopeless. The journey may appear slow. The challenges are huge, but the impact is enormous. We hope millions like them will come up to emulate what family care is doing so that we can alleviate the suffering of the common man in, in, in the larger perspective. Putting smiles on people's faces, taking away their pain, taking away their diseases, there is nothing greater than that. Nigeria will keep counting the gains. Perhaps the older generation may not reap from these transformations in the MRCs, but their children and generations yet unborn will surely find refuge in times of adversity. Let's all put our hands together and see that we achieve this goal. It is feasible, it is practicable, and I believe it's achievable.